Okay, it's the premium episode, and we are uh, special guest Shane Gillis. Could the not, bull, dude. Could not make it to the show. Absolute ledge. He's in Philadelphia. So we are doing this show with no one. Just, uh, it's the Classico Classico, dude. It's not the Classic one. It's, no, it's it is the... Not, the Classic is me and... The Classico is me and stop. Well, this is the Classico Classico. That's where the show started. That was its genesis. And I thought that this was... But we had something before the show started that was kind of more of a Classico Classico. I saw a company called Segra the uh-huh. other day. I was driving around. Tom Segura. No, Segra. Mm-hmm. Just S-E-G-R-A. Yeah. And it was fun to imagine that it was like... Uh, like a hidden figure's like we gonna, we'd make an, our own video game <laughs> company. We gonna make our own video games. Yeah, the, seg- the Segra Genesis. <laughs> <laughs> that's where video games come yeah. from, dude. Mm-hmm. The it was coming. Black women started them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> they come up. What if, what if he was blue but and fast? <laughs> Oh, I like him. He's cute. He's I like fine. that. He's fine because he's fast, but he's also blue. And how about he got a friend with a lot of tails? His friend's got two tails, and his name is Miles. Nah, his name is Tails. His name's Miles. His name is Miles. Yeah, uh, I didn't. Miles. I was not a Sega kid. Yeah, M- Miles Tail. Miles. His full name is Miles Prower. <laughs> it is. No, it's not. It is. Really? Tails is a nickname. His real name is Miles Prower. Wow, I, you could be lying to me right now. I'm not I have lying. No, idea. To no. <laughs> which is a very like black, like old school. Kind Miles of Prower guy. could be a fullback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There'd be you know like a guy that a guy that works at uh mm-hmm. you know the bank. Yeah, Miles Prower. He mm-hmm. played a couple of years at North Florida. That's right. He had hoop dreams. Yeah, th- uh, my name is Miles Prower, and this is my wife's company, Sagra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's kind of the brains of the operation. Mm-hmm. And it's and it's like hidden. Face. It's about this nineteen sixties when black women were coming up with their own video games. Yeah, my wife was a nerd. Mm-hmm. Oh, you don't fuck nerds. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she loves video games. Mm-hmm. She loves coming up with special video games just for black women. Mm-hmm. I hear the new Sonic movie is maybe uh, interesting. Really good. It's on par with the Irishman. Yeah, I'm that's what nerd. I've heard. Mm-hmm. I read that in uh, the internet. The Sonicman. The Sonicman. Mm-hmm. I like that naming scheme for every movie. What do you mean? Just the Irishman, the Jewishman, uh-huh. the Blackishman, <laughs> the Blackishman. <laughs> Anthony Anderson is the Blackishman. That that show is a spinoff, apparently. The Eilishman. Oh, the Billy Eilishman. The Billy Eilishman. Mm-hmm. The Billy Joelman. The Billy Joelishman. Well, in Japan, it's called the Eilishman. Yeah. And um, it's pretty confusing for them. Yeah, I was thinking about going around Chinatown as a New York guy. And you're mm-hmm. like, whoa, what the hell is this place? Japanese town. <laughs> Where the hell are we? What is this? Japanese city? There's yeah, that's ma- good to get it wrong. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Apparently my friend... What the hell is this? Jap- <laughs> Japanese central over here? <laughs> my friend my friend was in Chinatown. One of my nah, friends... I've been born and raised in Little Italy. <laughs> Just a block away. <laughs> yeah, never seen such a thing in my life. <laughs> He's never been south of Canal. I've never been south of of uh, fucking of uh, Broom. <laughs> Broom Street. <laughs> yeah, I've spent my entire life in between Broom and Grand. Yeah, I live. Uh, I live above uh, the John Varvato store, classic yeah. Italian establishment. Mm-hmm. My friend. Uh, I've been all over this neighborhood: Elizabeth Street, <laughs> Mott Street, Mulberry. That's it. <laughs> Dude, Little from, Italy, from, I mean... From Broom to Houston. It's like three blocks, right? What, Little Italy? Yeah. yeah. And it's just places that's you can get canola. Swallowed up by a Chinese town. Yeah, the fucking Chinese took Similar over. Similar thing that's happening in Italy right now. Yep, exactly. They're, they're sp- they sent over yeah. the Wuhan. Well, they were like... It was an Italian guy who's like, uh-huh. I, I can't wait to get the coronavirus. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, the listen, Corona. listen to the name of this thing, the coronavirus. <laughs> I can't. Come here. Let me get it. Let me give you a... Uh, yeah, they're just kissing each other on the cheeks. Don't get the virus. No matter what you do, do not get the coronavirus. <laughs> Mwah. Just kids t- putting their fingers in their mouth. Mwah. I can't love not being sick. They're Mwah. incredibly unhygienic people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love speeding when I speak and never being sick. Mwah. Mwah. 
<laughs> I saw a Chinese man in the airport this morning mm-hmm. at 6 a.m. with his son, his Chinese son, and they were both wearing matching Christian Dior sweatsuits. Mm-hmm. Like, imagine your dad dresses you up. Mm-hmm. Like already so embarrassingly, like yeah. in a like a like a hype beast style. Yeah, but it was a middle aged uh, Chinese man dressing his son up that way. That's cool. Yeah, that's pretty, I guess it's pretty cool. I wish I had a Chinese. But remember then we met that Chinese kid that was like he had that Criterion tattoo. Oh yeah, that and was he's like, brutal. Yeah, he's like, yeah, I got it because I love watching movies with my Chinese dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, he was trying to impress us. Yeah, yeah but you're like, well, aren't you Chinese? What also? show was that at? That was in in Canada somewhere, right? No, it was outside of Funny Moms. Oh, it was outside of Funny Moms. Yeah, yeah, yeah he was trying to trying to ingratiate us uh, himself to us by calling his dad his Chinese dad. Yeah. Um, so Nick, uh, how, what do you think about the Bernie Sanders victory, in Nevada? I thought I think I first of all I'd like to say good job, Adam. It was me. It, he went back there. I went back, and he pretty much not even for Bernie for my mom's birthday. But, but he went back for Bernie, and fucking he came through. They it wouldn't have happened if it weren't for you. It would have happened if it weren't for our podcast. Uh, that's this true. I firmly believe. That's true. Is that we are bending history. We are bending it. Yeah, we're bending it to our will, like Beckham. Yeah, exactly. Mm. From now until November, this is a Bernie Sanders podcast. Yeah, I don't care, dude. I don't care if we're not funny anymore. Oh, this I is Care Lord comedy. I am certain of that <laughs> <laughs> from you. No, come on, dude. I I got you know my uh, no. I did not. All right, let's spice it up a little mm-hmm. bit. Let's say some slurs. Yeah. Um. No, it was pretty cool. I guess I went to see. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the caucus, mm-hmm. and uh, there were there were twenty five people there. Yeah, it's pretty exciting to watch in in real time. Mm-hmm. History going. You know, on. I really don't like these caucus things. Why don't they just replace it with letting Elizabeth Warren win? I know that's how the system should be. Mm-hmm. It should it's because people are afraid to publicly vote for a woman in front of their friends and neighbors. That's, that's exactly right. Mm-hmm. That's exactly. And it right. doesn't apply to Klobuchar because she has a more. We need to change voting masculine so that it, pres- energy. It, it accounts for an internalized misogyny. Mm-hmm. You know, because I remember the war in people who did not pass the threshold. You, that's when you got misogyny so deep it's in your shit, <laughs> it's in your intestines. <laughs> yeah, so you go around. I'm I'm just gripping my abdomen. <laughs> people are like, "What's wrong?" I'm like, "I I either got <laughs> angina or fucking uh, internalized misogyny." Yeah, I've internalized anti-Semitism, I which got, means I take shits. I five think times I got a gallstone <laughs> or internalized misogyny. <laughs> That's what they should call PCOS, is internalized misogyny. What's PCOS? Polycystic ovary syndrome. I don't know what that is. I'm not a fucking doctor like you. I'm not a doctor either. Yes, you are. No. A little bit of I one. just, I, I I know shit about pussy. You know, man. <laughs> I just, I made it my business yeah. to know everything about the pussy. <laughs> yeah, people think I'm a gynecologist all the mm-hmm. time, but mm-hmm. I, I'm actually just a man with mm-hmm. Wikipedia. Yeah. Damn, we out here in the gynecologist's office and Liz Warren is going off. <laughs> Just a bl- like a black barber shop that's a gynecologist's office. Dude, you didn't even see yeah. that tweet. I, I didn't see the tweet, but I'm now I'm laughing about a black barber <laughs> shop or gynecologist's office that operates like a black barber shop. <laughs> How you doing, Montel? You getting your pussy checked up today? <laughs> your doctor's just <laughs> talking the whole uh-huh. time. Mm-hmm. They got fucking porn playing on like a mini screen, yeah. like a like one of those kitchen TVs. Yeah. Looking good, looking good. A nine inch kitchen TV. Mm-hmm. Yeah, his nephew about to be 15, talking about, I'm trying to get a whip. <laughs> Son, until you call it a car, you're going to be riding your ass on the bus. Oh, so and what do you want, an abortion today? Everyone in the room laughing while there's <laughs> 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 a woman having her like, pussy. Like. <laughs> I know that's right. He wants a car he can work for, Lawrence. <laughs> Tell him that. From across the room. He take me to the store. He yeah. said he want a new pair of is, is uh, it, Michael Jordan tennis shoes. Is it herpes? <laughs> nah, nah. You okay. You good. Don't worry about it. He said, yeah, they all want sneakers now. <laughs> I said, how much are they? Yeah. $140 for some damn sneakers. He said, granddaddy, take a look at this TikTok I did. I said, TikTok, <laughs> that's how much time you wasted not doing homework. <laughs> that's, that's the sound of the clock. Ticking on your ass before you go to college. Just a woman's feet in stirrups. <laughs> 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 well, there's, yeah. 
Dude, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, I'd tell him, pull up your pants. Not you, sweetheart. You keep your <laughs> pants down. Pull up your damn pants. <laughs> yes, it's true. Show some fucking yeah. respect these not, days. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, honey. You keep your pants down. Yes. We're not done yet. Yes, but your your pussy is truly peculiar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what you got is uh, it's uh, some squamous cells <laughs> on your cervix. You have cancer. Yeah, we call that a swervix around here. <laughs> We call that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got, I'm sorry, but you got a swervix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should, you should be squamous. <laughs> Squam- yeah. She's hey, going- what's up? You call for me? No, not you, squamous. <laughs> <laughs> no, she got, she got swervix. You got to check out That's why squirmix. we got to call it swervix, because squamous be coming in here every time we say. <laughs> and then just another yeah. guy comes in and. How you doing? My name is Squamous L. Thompson. <laughs> my, my, my name is Squamous L. Carcinoma. <laughs> this some other guy comes in. And he's like, oh, yeah, you working on this right here? Mm-hmm. I used to work on this model. Yeah, yeah, you want to come back to my shop? Like that guy that was telling you, uh, trying to sell you fake parts? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That guy comes in. That guy, was like, that guy was like one of those New York mystery races. He could have been the whitest man of all time or Puerto Rican. Or like very light skin. Mm-hmm. I have no idea. Or Hawaiian. Yeah. 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 That's 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 cool when you can sort of switch up with your outfit the race that you are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You could be Dominican one day. Yeah. You could be Mormon the next day. Yeah. Because once because those guys get old, and then you know they're like eighty years old and they're dressing like fucking nineteen year olds. It's cool. And I it's like those, those guys' style. Those types of old, yeah. They wear pleated dress pants every day. Mm, no, not those guys. Not those guys. Sweatpants. Oh, those guys. Yeah. Yeah. Like big cargo sweatpants, <laughs> fitted caps at fucking 93 years old. Yeah, but like non-licensed, like it says NY, but it's not a Yankees hat. Mm, yeah. it's, an, it's, an, it's from the Port Authority. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? I don't know. Didn't you have a funny story? You said we're saying something some before. Funny story. Oh, some oh yeah, my friend was uh he was just my friend that I went to Japan with, he was in Chinatown like after getting back from Japan and he didn't want to jaywalk in front of the Chinese because he wanted to be respectful. I don't get it. Because he just thought they had the same rules as in Japan. He thought that they had the same uh, honor-based code as oh. the Japanese. Were we not supposed to jaywalk? I was jaywalking constantly in Tokyo. I know. I think that no one jaywalks there. They didn't have any fucking crosswalks. You had to they jaywalk. They did have crosswalks. No, I jaywalked the whole fucking time. They had big-ass crosswalks. I, it was inconvenient to go across the street the entire time. I This last trip, I jaywalked plenty, and, and I was you know met with a lot of looks down at people's shoes. But that could have been for any number of reasons. You know? Yeah. I could have been dishonoring them in a in a multitude Probably of ways. Probably were. I guess. Yeah. What we, we did we mention that you told me about this Liz Warren tweet, but I didn't see it. Yeah. Some dude. I'll find it. Some dude said that he was at the barber shop, mm-hmm. and everyone was going off for Liz Warren. <laughs> <laughs> left just left the barber shop. Everyone was talking about Liz Warren. Yo, your girl, bro. That's heat. Uh, that's the heat we need for Trump. When you are getting talked about in the barbershop, you know it's real. Yeah. (laughs) Which is, like, definitely, like, same energy as that the Jacob Wool, like, was just in a hipster coffee shop and everyone was talking in hushed tones about how great of a job our president, Donald Trump, is doing. Yeah. I mean, but you do hear some dumb shit in dumb places. I was thinking the other day, I remember I was at Eastside Showroom in Austin one time. Mm -hmm. And I overheard two guys, and one of them said to the other one, uh, yeah, dude, fucking Ernest Hemingway, F. Scott Fitzgerald, all of those guys were steampunk, actually. (laughs) Which is still one of the best things I've ever heard. Jesus Christ. Yeah, all those guys were actually, they were steampunk. (laughs) That's such an awesome conversation, too. Mm -hmm. Steampunk is so funny, how that became a thing. Yeah. Your shit is like, yeah, you know, I was a kid and I liked shitty movies and then I became an adult and I found other people that were deeply impacted by the film Wild Wild West. (laughs) (laughs) Wild Wild West was OG steampunk. Yeah, that's where it started. Everything. Do you think that ushered steampunk revival? Yeah, every type of scene has like a (laughs) dumb fucking like (laughs) genesis. Yeah, like we were talking about swing and the mask. Yeah, furries are entirely the product of Can You Feel the Love Tonight (laughs) from The Lion King. (laughs) 
Because it is kind of hot that they're gonna fuck. They're gonna fuck just yeah, and they look good. Yeah, and that like damaged the 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 psyches <laughs> of an entire generation of kids. <laughs> I wonder if Elton John knows he's part of that. That's why they got him to That's do it. That's big, it's, dude. It was they were like maybe we can sexualize children, and they did, just not in the way they expected. Yeah, it's true. Hollywood they just made them want to fuck other animals. Other animals when they were adults, rather mm. than than as children being like, it's time to go suck off a producer. <laughs> Which was the they wanted? They were trying to get kids they, comfortable. Oh, kids were running out of the Fucking adult Jewish mom, man. dad. Yeah. I want to suck a fat <laughs> old Jewish man's penis. <laughs> That's what I can't wait to do. Yo, is Harvey about to get off? I hope so, dude. I think that they're saying it might be a hung jury. I, uh, dude, I would love that. <laughs> I would fucking love that, dude. This is the dude's rock. This Honestly, is our year. It's 2020. What Harvey Weinstein did was despicable, but in. If if it's like coming down to dudes versus we need the this hose, dub, dude. We need this dub. We need it because what needs to happen is if Harvey Weinstein gets off, the hoes are gonna get so mad that they'll ruin all of the camp. The, all the women are out. Yeah, it's true. Liz Warren won't be able the to. The collapse sh- of the Liz, Liz Warren campaign Liz has Warren, already started. That if fucking Harvey Weinstein gets off, Elizabeth Warren won't be able to shut up about it, and it'll be the only thing that any of those people are talking about. Oh yeah, and it'll it, that'll be the. It's end. gonna destroy them. Mm-hmm. They're gonna combust. Yeah, and then and then Bernie's gonna sneak under the radar for yeah. the for the victory. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No, dude. I'm so happy to see these these I, fucking morons. I want the title their Viceroy. Mind. Is that only under in Bernie? Indi- no, is that under only in India? Yeah, like it's the in Br- the colonies. British, British India had the sickest. The Raj. Times. Raj Viceroy. Yeah. Yeah. You you and you wear like half Indian, half British clothes. Yeah. Squamous. You get like <laughs> squamous. <laughs> yeah. You get genie pants, but like a military jacket. Grand Poobah. It's so sick. Oh, no, dude. Dude. It's so sick. I love that the Grand Poobah of Palestine co op or like coordinated with Hitler. That was the Grand Mufti oh, of was, Jerusalem. It wasn't the Poobah? No, but we can remember it as the uh, Poobah. That makes the story Muf- better. Mufti's good. But only if you don't know that Pooh Bah is one of the options. <laughs> yeah, my dad loved bringing that up for a while. What? The, the I was Mufti. like, yeah, it's, you know, like, he's like... And what's he supposed to be, like Aladdin's dad or <laughs> Jasmine's dad or was he Jafar? No, it's just like his response for, like, there's two sides to every story with the, like, Gaza or whatever. He's like, you know yeah, but weird? what about the Grand Mufti of Jerusalem meeting Hitler in 1938 or something? Cats, like, like, cats <laughs> hate being massaged. If you find a knot in a cat and you start rubbing it, they get they don't bit. like they it. hate it. They love their knots. My dog loves being massaged. I know dogs love it, but cats they especially they like in one tense. special place. They like to stay tense. Yeah, because cats like working their own shit out, dude. Mm-hmm. See, your Look cat bit you. I know she does that. You're so, so brave. You don't care about bites and scratches. I don't give a shit, dude. Nick, you're you're a legend, man. I'm an old man. I'm sorry. I let those girls you in your can't. apartment when you were gone. We haven't squashed this beef you yet. Can. Oh, I didn't actually give a shit. Were you actually mad? No. I thought you were mad, dude. No, I was just I was giving I was busting your I was watching Nick's cat and I I let two girls in the apartment. He said they're touching all my shit and I'm touching my stuff. They're touching my touching my fucking video games. Well then I rescind my apology then because I'm not because I wasn't actually I thought you were also joking around. I was joking around. Yeah. But I thought you were I thought you were serious. No, sir. I let them. I let them put it on your chainmail, and Nick got pretty mad about it's that. All right, a girl sent me the chainmail, so it evens out. That's pretty cool. That, that a girl, chain mail from a girl. That a girl thought to buy that. Yeah, dude. Girls that's, are girls are nice. That's wife material, right there. I think. No, it's not. You don't think so? No, it's a friend who. It's you. Just sometimes you could be friends with them. Of course. No, sometimes I. If can't. they send me gifts. I could be friends with them, but I know that secretly, mm-hmm. deep down, they just want to tear my clothes off and. and yeah. Have sex with me. Well, I can be consent. friends with women, but I know deep down they want to send me nights clothes. <laughs> I know that every woman I meet secretly <laughs> wants to just adorn me with tunics and <laughs> a goblet. <laughs> <laughs> they can't wait to send me off to recapture Jerusalem. What if you you met a girl? This is kind of a stop question. I'm trying to fill in for his his mm-hmm. role in the pod. You met a girl that was really into like mid middle ages style sex. Would you Would you keep going? Oh, you said middle age style sex. No, and no, I imagine, like, like, like dark, listening to like dark ages. George Thorogood <laughs> and getting like way too drunk off course. Oh lights. yeah, of course you would keep fucking that girl. Just that girl's me and amazing. My leathery wife. <laughs> that girl rocks. Yeah, let's get sunburn and then fucking mm-hmm. have have sex. Mm-hmm. You know, on the pull out couch in our 
or uh, or uh, you know, uh, I guess beach rental. We're we're the middle aged people. Yeah, they go to the beach. Yeah, Rehoboth Beach. Listening to Mustang Sally, <laughs> needing just massive amounts of lube. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, no, I meant like a girl that could only bust at green sleeves, mm-hmm. you know, like that kind of bitch. Oh, a who wants to be like a damsel, you know? Yeah, those girls are weird. Those girls are weird. Yeah, I don't know if I could. I don't chill know. with yeah. one of those. I don't know. Yeah, they're like, those are the kind of girls that uh, that just like it's it's all you. It's like impossible to be attracted to them. You know yeah, what I mean? even if they're fine. Yeah, exactly. A lot of them, they all have huge titties too. Yeah, but giant. Giant. <laughs> 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 they all have massive yeah, yeah, tits. Uh, yeah, enormous. But it's, and it's somehow it's, still it's not worthless because you know that they're like <laughs> they're worthless. They're like tits. four degrees colder than room temperature <laughs> and like balmy. There, that's yeah. a version of horse girl. I feel like is like uh, yeah. Renaissance fair bitch. Yeah. I uh, had this. Oh, kid. my my wife. Yeah, she a Renaissance. Bitch. <laughs> she a Renaissance type of bitch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're you know we're uh, we're really into the dork ages. Mm-hmm. You know, dork st- style shit. I was trying this out over the weekend, getting zero from it from a couple of uh, haters. Okay, because I wasn't around my boys. Women. It's yeah. It's funny. I forget that like. If I'm not around you and stop, no one thinks I'm funny. No, that's not true. You got like <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just deeply annoying. <laughs> like no, I, no, that's true. I'll I mean, say, to me and stop too. You, you also are. Yeah, but we but just also, protect you. I'm good at the bits. <laughs> you are good the, at the bits. You dude. take those. Those get taken away from me around other people. That's and true. Like what, like, what do you mean? Imagine a guy. Well, it's just women can't riff. You know? They're like, what do you mean? Like a guy who's a guy who thinks that fucking. <laughs> Your girlfriends. Yeah. It's yeah. like, we, like, why are you pretending to have Down syndrome right now? Wait, what were you getting nothing for? Uh, <laughs> just like... Uh, oh, your Bloomberg bit? No, no. I thought that was very funny. Oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, just a guy that's like, uh, you know, fucking... Like, Mom! Mom, I can't wait to vote for Mike Bloomberg! <laughs> But I think the president should be a guy who has the most money, mom. He's got the most money. He got. He has the most money, mom. I want to vote for Mike Bloomberg. <laughs> Take me a voting place. I got vote for Mike Bloomberg. <laughs> now, now, sweetie. I played. Settle down. I played that for Felix. We were having dinner together in Vegas. Uh huh. And we both got a, had a big laugh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to vote for Mike Bloomberg. <laughs> um. No, but the, what I was thinking about over the weekend was. Uh, it's like a, you know, it's like a marketing meeting, and mm-hmm. like for lens crafters. And like, <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, a guy shows up and he didn't do his homework or whatever, so he's like, he just rips off a Popeyes ad. Yeah, and he's like, how about we do like, uh, we do a thing and it's like Mardi Gras, you know? <laughs> and it's like, well, come on down to, come on down for some Louisiana <laughs> style glasses. <laughs> Down at Liz Crafters. <laughs> that's Ooh, very, dude, come that's on, very funny. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that makes no sense. I was called a retard. Yeah. I was fucking told to shut up. They told you you were being a retard. I said, I would, yeah, that, that's uh, that's retarded. You're a retard. Oh. I was told, like, I said, could you go five minutes? Just shut up for five minutes. <laughs> they said that to you? And people said a lot of rude stuff to me. I don't like, I don't, listen, it's like, this is like, you know, uh, you know we're family, you know, so we we could we could say that kind of stuff to each other. But someone's yeah. saying that to my family, yeah. I don't like that at all. I'll let it slide. We'll I let can, it slide for now. I'm old now. See, an old gives you a kind of confidence. People talk about old man strength, and they don't realize that it's mostly emotional. Oh yeah, that's that's the that's m- the basis of my strength, my emotional fortitude. Yeah, that's how I can stand being made fun of in front of a an audience of racists for three years. You know, by my friends. When did that happen? No, I'm just saying on the show and stuff. I can like oh. I can handle it. Oh, the podcast because of my maturity. The podcast, yeah, because right. of my emotional strength. I forgot the role you play <laughs> in your own life. <laughs> my, um, yeah, the roles we play. The roles we play. I thought it'd be funny to like memorize every answer for Trivial Pursuit for like, like the 1987 six, edition. Yeah, for like six months, lock myself in my room and. <laughs> memorize every bit and like a montage of me sweating and staying up memorizing yeah. and then inviting somebody over a couple of people over and be like you guys uh want to play trivial pursuit <laughs> you know and then uh we play it <laughs> once and i'm like that was probably just get throw it i'm like that's right what to make it a little more interesting <laughs> you put 20 dollars on it this time and they're like no nah, i think we're good 
Nonsense. Yeah, we're done with Trivial Pursuit. It's okay. not that fun. Uh, well, that's that. That's that. That's part. Your, your. That's the end of that chapter. Your of my life. six month plan. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end of that chapter <laughs> of my life. All right. Uh, I'll see you guys later. I guess. Mm-hmm. Anyone that like earnestly refers to parts of their life as chapters. That sucks. They suck. They suck. They really just no. They are not living a real life. Or turning pages, or just anything related to any a book. book. Any book related. Yeah, that's really gay. Yeah, yeah. It's time for the next episode mm-hmm. of my life. That's what I like. It's episode. Time, yeah. It's time for the next track. My life a show. My life a movie. Mm-hmm. You know, my life is not a book. Mm. My well, life is circus. My yeah. life is circus. The fucking clown world. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. But there's other shit, dude. There's fucked up l- looking ladies, mm-hmm. freaks. I'd like to imagine, Bears. you know, the economy, there's like a downturn, right? uh-huh. a recession. Yeah. And you go to the circus and the clown car like shows up and then just one clown gets out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hey. Uh. <laughs> it's only one of them. Yeah. And they're like, well, yeah, we had to fire a bunch of the clowns. That's sad, man. Yeah, I know. That's probably the future our kids have to look forward to mm-hmm. in this uh, hell world, hell site. Yeah. The you clown's know? like, all of my friends are dead. <laughs> <coughs> Pardon me, dude. Sorry, I had a flight at five forty a.m. Dude, I think my um my flight was I thought my flight was eleven. It was at nine twenty five, and I had my alarm set for eight a.m. You made it. I made it. Good, good job, brother. I made it. I think I got so I, you could schedule an Uber. I think my Uber driver from my parents' house to the airport this morning was on methamphetamine. Uh-huh. Um, primarily because it was you know like quarter to five a.m. and she would not stop talking. Yeah, and she was like, she was like, yeah, I'm actually this week has got a pretty big week coming up. I'm getting a whole new set of teeth. Yeah, Sean Patton got new teeth. I saw that, and it <laughs> looks weird. I mean, yeah. he looks good, but only if you haven't known Sean Patton before. Yeah, because I was telling. Well, him, it's one of those things. Also, like him, once you notice them, you can't stop. Yeah. At them. Well, I was I noticed it immediately though. Yeah. Because I, I was telling him like you know because I, I don't know if you noticed it before. I didn't really pay attention to his mm. teeth. Oh, quick plug! Sean Patton's doing Funny Moms tomorrow night. I I didn't I really pay attention everybody. to his teeth, but I, well, yeah. there was a way his mouth was shaped where you only you saw his incisors, but not the teeth in the middle. Right. And it for whatever reason it made him look like Binky from Arthur when he spoke. <laughs> right. He had like just like Binky energy, which I you know I thought maybe it's because it was the shape of his head, but it was always just the teeth because Binky's top lip kind of dips down a bit, mm-hmm. and that Sean had like a similar thing. Mm-hmm. And now that he has brand new teeth, he looks like Robert Goulet, which you it's <laughs> it's very weird to imagine that teeth can take you from Binky from Arthur to Robert Goulet. Yeah. But that's exactly <laughs> what happened with him. It's a perfect description. The best comedian, by the way. One of the best. Robert Sean, Goulet? Sean Patton. No. Uh, Robert Goulet. For Robert Goulet matter. was extremely entertaining. Mm-hmm. I recently rewatched the Will Ferrell Robert Goulet sketch on SNL. He goes hard R in that sketch. Mm-hmm. They had they said the N word on <laughs> SNL. Yeah. SNL used to take risks. You they know? used to take real risks. Now they take the wrong type of risks by mm-hmm. hiring like a mentally disabled Muslim woman. Yeah. Someone without arms. They're like that has know, to write sketches with, SNL their, taking with the a greatest, pencil in their the mouth. The greatest risk of all time by hiring the most unfunny people <laughs> in the world. This person survived uh I'm rape just, the rape of the Taliban. Yeah. Yeah. Malala. Malala. Yeah. <laughs> Tonight's guest, Malala. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't want me to go to school. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's my Malala impression. Very good. Thank you. What happened to Malala? She um got pregnant, dude. Yeah. Yeah. She, she found got, the right guy. She got married. That's that's what I was always saying when she was just running her mouth about the Taliban. I was like, she hasn't found the right guy you yet. Know, and yes, looking, she's thirteen. I was looking at a, my my Elizabeth Warren poster in my room the other day and mm. closing my eyes and sort Kissing of it. masturbating without getting hard all the way. <laughs> and I was fantasizing <laughs> about a Captain Planet. Uh-huh. Live action. Well, let's go. With Malala, uh-huh. with Greta Thunberg. Okay. Um who else? The kids from Parkland, uh, the part yeah, David Hall, David Hall, <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, and let's see who's the black kid that we throw in there. Um, and uh, fuck, did you see that dwarf kid that finessed all those no, people? Who would be the right answer for that? <laughs> that's not the right answer. Yeah, I don't know, but uh, anyway, some <laughs> black kid that's also one of those. And I was masturbating to the idea of them summoning Captain Planet, played by fucking Elizabeth Warren. Uh, 
uh, Matt. Is it Matt McGorry? Is that his name? Yeah, that guy that's like the mm-hmm. feminist. Yes. Who got this? Is, yeah. Him and his dad got this. Is what a feminist and looks Captain, like tattoos. Captain Planet shows up and he's like, uh, "Where's the pollution?" You know, and they're like, "We need you to help a girl win." And mm-hmm. then he kills Bernie Sanders. Oh my god! And that's uh, Captain Planet. He's our hero. Is that Elizabeth Warren's plan right now to kill Bernie Sanders? Yeah, we're going to kill Bernie Sanders. <laughs> you know, my grandfather would have put an arrow right through his dick. He's just taking his scalp right off. Yeah, we would have, sl- I would love to peel his scalp back <laughs> and eviscerate him with a rusty tomahawk. <laughs> S- sending his, uh, his campaign offices smallpox mm-hmm. blankets. Did they really do that? Mm-hmm. They gave them blankets with smallpox they on them? They sure did. That's annoying. It is. That's really annoying. Uh-huh. A bed bud blanket? Yeah. That would have been really annoying Yeah. for the Native Americans. They have to call a fucking whatever. It was, t- it was tuberculosis, right? I thought it was smallpox. I thought it was TB blankets. Um, let me What's see. the deal with smallpox? Is it not as big? It's a smaller pox and you can die? Um, yeah, it's like chicken pox. Chicken pox not that bad. Let's see, tuberculosis. Tuberculosis. Now I'm remembering Arthur dying and I'm upset. This is why we need Medicare for All, dude, to save Arthur Morgan. To save fictional characters. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) That's why. That you Um, you got sad when they died in a video game. I I support, I I kind of, I was radicalized by the death of Arthur Morgan (laughs) from Red Dead Redemption 2. Because I really thought about it, and I thought if he had access to care, Mm -hmm. instead of just. It's true. Only he only had $10 because I spent all my money on guns. He had no choice but to, you know, go throughout the countryside working for Dutch. Exactly. There was no, you know, some of us spend most of our time killing beavers to make the legendary beaver (laughs) outfit. But if he could just go to the doctor. If he could have gone to the doctor. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm supporting Bernie Sanders. Um, what, was, what else was it? How long have we been doing this? I like got a plan, hours? Arthur. 32 minutes. <laughs> 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 I'm going to dress up like a girl and then we can sneak into the bathroom. Is that that's Dwayne Dutch. the Rock Dutch? No, it's Dutch. I Dwayne used to the be, Dutch Johnson? I don't remember what Dutch sounds like. Something like that. I haven't that. played the game in a while. Is Red Dead Redemption 1 fun? Yeah, because I, mean, I miss playing Red Dead Redemption Two, and Red I never Dead played Redemption the first one. Red Dead Redemption Two might one. be one of the best games ever made. It's so sick. It was it, honestly because games have sucked for ten years, but that one was like a fucking bright spot in a sea of shit. It's true. Yeah. Make games good again. All right. I guess if you want to have a lady president, that's up to you. <laughs> a lady. I'm not voting for a goddamn lady. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's, uh, I think maybe I'll just get the first one. Well, maybe Elizabeth Warren can kiss my ass. (laughs) (laughs) I love Arthur that hates women. Yeah, you should go to some Warren campaign as that character. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, my name is uh, Arthur Morgan, (laughs) and I got tuberculosis. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I got (laughs) tuberculosis. And I was wondering uh, <laughs> a feller like me could maybe get some medicine. <laughs> yeah, that's that's fucking that's gold right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how you gold. doing? <laughs> My name is uh, Arthur Morgan from Red Dead Redemption <laughs> Two. Well, I'm a simple cosplayer and just a cowpoke, and I was wondering why we need a cunt in the White House. <laughs> When we could have some Jewish feller. No, that's a period appropriate res- a name for what Elizabeth Warren is. What, a cunt? Yeah, that's what women were called Yeah, in the Old West. Times are changing, Dutch. They're talking about letting some Comanche bitch be president. <laughs> that's fine, Arthur. We can use her to ra- a rape, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever, the, whatever Dutch's plan is. His Whatever plans Dutch are always so bad. Man, I used to be much quicker, and I could on the fly come up with some Dutch plan to put Elizabeth Warren in the White House. Now we my could come up with that. Brain, no, my brain is... I you, can't, this is what you've been talking about, how I your powers have dulled. It's not powers, dude. I'm too old. 
I'm, I'm too, too old. old for this young man's game. Mm-hmm. It is a young man's game. It's who a do you think's game. gonna? Who who's like the next? Who's gonna t- take over? You think? Probably Thomas. Thomas from Twitter. Thomas from Twitter. <laughs> Tom, my train friend Thomas. <laughs> yeah, Thomas the tweet engine. He's very funny. He's very funny. I like him a lot. I'm a fan. He's got a good probably eight years ahead of him. And then he's done, and just like it, the rest oh, of us. He's smoked. Then it's over he for is, him. He is toast, as they say. You better start the podcast now, friend. Yeah, come on, dude. They probably won't even have podcasts by the time you're 30. No. Well, they're not, yeah. We'll all be living on the moon. On, I'll be te- li- on Tesla's moon. Yeah. We're all going to be getting sucked off by machines. Mm-hmm. There's not going to be any time for podcasting. Yeah. Good old-fashioned podcast. Arthur, if we put the Comanche bitch in jail, we can break out Harvey Weinstein from prison. They put go. her in the White House. See, I can't even speak properly. That's anymore. good. They put... they Okay, so Dutch... So they get her elected. I can't do the voice. And yeah, they get Elizabeth Warren elected. And then they... To distract everybody to bust Harvey Weinstein <laughs> out of prison. Because everyone's so happy. Or everyone, they, yeah, they don't notice. They get Harvey Weinstein out of prison, and then he's indebted to them. So then they decide to make the best movie of all time. <laughs> right. Boondock Saints 3. <laughs> Thank God they're making that. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and they, then they use the money that they make from Boondock Saints 3 uh-huh. to finally move to... Uh, you know, uh, New Bedford, Massachusetts, wherever the next town is. Yeah. The Whaling Museum in New Bedford, Massachusetts. You love bringing up that museum. It was all right. You went there? I went there. What was like, what did they do with the whales? They ate the food? They ate the blub. They turned the blubber into oil. That's You used to have a whale lamp. And then bones. They used the bones? They used the bones um, as for, uh, for, xy- for xylophones. That's how they made xylophones. That was a big uh, industry back in the back in the. That's 19- when xylophone was king. Yeah, everyone was playing the Sex in the City theme song. You know, mm. who invented the xylophone? The guy who did the Sex in the City theme song. Uh, no, it's uh, I don't know, probably some fucking Caribbean guy. No, a xylophone. I can't wait to play the xylophone. A xyl xyl xylophone. No, oh, it's from the Greek words xylon and phone. Oh, like sound? Yeah, very good, dude. Thanks, brother. Mm-hmm. I've been setting up on words. It's interesting. Xy- xylophone comes from the Greek words xylo and phone. <laughs> Pretty interesting. <laughs> People are learning something right now. Yeah. Um, Let us educate you. Yeah, all right, let's see. It was invented in the ninth century. Wow. Ninth century. I was thinking nineteen forty. Yeah, late yeah. earliest. Yeah, right. I thought I thought maybe that was like sort of a Harlem Renaissance kind of thing. Oh, they didn't have music until jazz. Yeah, that was the first kind of music. Yeah. There was green sleeves for about two thousand years. Mm-hmm. The Segre the Segre Renaissance. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to play my Segre Renaissance. Uh, is that like a vi- is that a kind of guy? What like a Harlem Renaissance like s- like steampunk for black people, like being really into like uh, being a nineteen twenties black jazz man. I just typed in newest instrument and there's something called the Venova. What's that? Um, I don't know. It looks fucking. It awesome. sounds like a pussy though. Yeah. Yeah. It's got me interested. Um, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't think anymore. God damn, fucking doctor. Well, they're made by Yamaha and it costs a hundred dollars. That's Venom, not bad. But you know, it's a combination of the saxophone and a recorder. Okay. Uh, and it's a fingered instrument. This job this year. We can learn this. It just sounds like music from the Wii. Yeah, I think it was made. That's exactly what it is. Is that what it is? Mm-hmm. Somebody sent me a Levon tweet. Is it good? They're always good, but I'm I'm having trouble reading these days. You can't read. You can't come up with fake plans from Red Dead Redemption Two to get Elizabeth Warren I can barely elected. Barely do the voices anymore. 
Nick, you're all right, man. I'm dying, Dutch. The doctors say I'm mentally retarded. <laughs> I would love that, dude. Yeah, that, that was he the decides scene. to stay halfway through the game. <laughs> Arthur collapses. He's like, "What? <laughs> what is it, Doc? Just tell me." <laughs> He's like, "Sorry, son. It's it's not good news." <laughs> yeah, I gathered that. We got down syndrome. <laughs> it's a progressive disease. <laughs> it's getting worse. It's gonna. You know, you're better off uh, finding a place to stay that's filled with cookies and sweets. <laughs> if that's at all possible. <laughs> yeah, I'll just go move into the Pillsbury factory. No, it's not possible. Damn, that's that's um progressive retardation. That's yeah. isn't that like kind of an analogy for life? You know, yeah, I can't even really. I can only just sort of approximate Arthur. Back when I was playing, I could do him pretty well. Yeah, you could do it well. Yeah, I got it. Now we're in the voice, the voice section of the show. I got tuberculosis. What did you say, tuberculosis? I got tuberculosis. <laughs> Yeah, my name's uh, Arthur Morgan, and I was planning on voting for uh, Tulsi Gabbard. He for sure was would have been a Tulsi yeah, Gabbard guy. Tulsi. Yeah, there would have been several tough. side missions. She's a tough me. broad. Yeah, but, like, yeah, she's the daughter of the chief, <laughs> who has to do man stuff in lieu of her brother, who's a pussy. Yeah, that's true. And he's like, I never judge nobody no ways. Girl can do it, just man can do it. <laughs> This is definitely <laughs> the way I think is a man from 1898. <laughs> and not, uh, not the product of, uh, you know, mm. some Bay Area computer programmer. <coughs> what wrote Using the, uh, modern feminism. Mm -hmm. uh, Ma'am, uh, would you mind telling me your pronouns? <laughs> <laughs> Arthur Morgan here, he, him. That sounds more like Dutch than Arthur. Yeah, that's kind of a Dutch. Arthur, I gotta... Arthur, Arthur I, we gotta get my dick cut off. <laughs> that's a mission. Yeah. Arthur, we're gonna get my dick cut off, and with the money I make, whoring myself out. <laughs> then we're gonna be able to yeah. move to a new town, start all over again. Yeah. That's what that's the plan always, right? Is that they get enough money, and then they can go to a new place. And they go to a new place and then get in more trouble. And get in more trouble. Yeah, that's ain't that life, dude. Mm -hmm. That's that's kind of like us, man. Yeah, yeah. You should play the first one because the first one's a sequel to the original. Right. It's with the that sequel, guy. The first one is a sequel to Red Dead Redemption Two. Right. Arthur's already dead. At yeah, that you point. play as John Morrison. Mm -hmm. Which was weird because it's like the first one was so good when two was coming out. You know, I have memories of playing the first one. I'm like, well, I don't know if I don't want to, like... I would want to play as John Marston. And I'm mm -hmm. like, who's this fucking other guy? But then you play the second one, and it's like, oh, yeah, fuck John Marston. The epilogue is takes place after the first one, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the no, first... No. The epilogue takes place way before the first one. But don't they... Kill who? Dutch, no? No. In the epilogue, you go up that mountain. And... I didn't play. I didn't play the epilogue. Oh, I played it. You kill Dutch at the end of Red Dead Redemption. Oh, the first one. The first one, yeah. Oh no, you kill that other guy, the the bad guy. Yeah, Micah. Micah, yeah. yeah. Now I remember. Mm -hmm. But I didn't play the epilogue because I, I I had a I turned off auto save, and then I played. I like it was like two missions from before Arthur died, and then I finished the game, and then I did like three missions with John. And then I like rode way out into Mexico to mm -hmm. see how far the map went, and I got like eaten by wolves. Is that they just wrote that into the script? You can't go too far. No, it just like fucked. Like I got eaten. I got attacked by wolves while a gang like attack, and it just fucked my shit up. Because uh -huh. otherwise, it would have been fine. Yeah. And it was like I had lost like five hours of gameplay, so it was like I'm d I'm done. That's so scary to be five hours off the map. Yeah. Well, what's even more annoying You're is so when brave. auto save would happen. You, it's like your file would like. I turned it off because I had like there was one time I was playing where the game auto saved with my horse on train tracks with like a train like right in front of the horse. So anytime the game would load, it would kill my horse. <laughs> and I was like, this is fucking. I had to go back like five hours. Another time that happened. Wow. So I turned off autosave so I could be in control. It's amazing what they put us through. The the trials and tribulations of being a gamer. Life is so hard. It's brutal.
Life is fun. life is brutal. It is hell. It's really just now. I know what Nietzsche was talking about. You know? Who's that? Some fucking German faggot. Yeah. Sorry for saying that word to anyone that was offended. <clears throat> so I'm gonna need <coughs> you to suck my dick. How about that? That's good. Yeah. Now we're back. Yeah. Now we're back. Now we're back. Let's do some more sound effects. Maybe that's <laughs> all right. Go on a diet, you fat bitch. <laughs> That guy should endorse Bernie. <laughs> he should. It'd be great if that truck sped <laughs> off and it just said, like, Elizabeth Warren on the back. <laughs> it's a Planned Parenthood, Elizabeth Warren, yeah, fucking yeah. Hillary 2016. Resist. Yeah, resist. Hashtag resist. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're going to die of beans and tortillas, you fucking pig. <laughs> <laughs> he called her a stupid beaner. Yeah. He used slurs. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm against those slurs, especially after you said it, though. He's you well, said B, you said the B word. That's I said. I quoted him. The bean. I word. quoted a white devil saying it. Mm-hmm. It wasn't me using. That's it. such a fun. That's like I love the slurs that are that lazy. They're like, yeah, these guys they love beans. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> loves <laughs> beans. <laughs> I'll tell you something about these motherfuckers: is they love putting beans in things. Yeah, probably from a can. You put their beans in a can and they put them in tortillas. They got they got a tortilla pizza. Okay, Ma, I got an idea. It's a, it's like lunch, but it's for kids and it's called Lunchables. <laughs> Arthur, that's a great idea. You get the DLC where Arthur comes up with Lunchables. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to do something good before I die. Dude, do you remember thinking Lunchables pizza was good? No. I, mean, I remember thinking, like, that's good eating right there. I remember when it came out and some kid had it. And I remember, like, being like, can I, p- can I please have one <laughs> yeah, of the Yeah, it looked so good. And My then, parents would never buy it for and me. And then they let me have one of the pizzas, and it was disgusting. Yeah, it sucks. It was like a soft cracker yeah. with ketchup and like, <laughs> and, like, shredded cheese or something. Yeah. And, like, little pepperonis, I remember you put on yeah. it. Disgusting. But it just felt like you were, like, a... The tacos sucked. I mean, the classic Lunchables is the good one. The ham and cheese. The ham and cheese, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the Lunchables pizza was, like, it just felt like you were being a pizza man. How you, you know? doing? You listening to ham and cheese. <laughs> I'm ham. And I'm cheese. And I'm cheese. And I'm bringing the cheese. Damn, I'm sleepy. Yeah, me too, dude. I'm like really feeling that flight right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't sleep on the plane either. I just sat there pissed. Why? I just get pissed sometimes. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. You got in one of your moods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Would I'm, you do you I'm like that? Do you have any rituals? You listen you know, to Limp Biscuit breaks up? For years I'd see pictures of Ben Affleck and be like, Man, this this guy is like deeply hurting and complicated. Yeah. And then I read that interview, I'm like, Oh no, he's just a fucking idiot. Wait, what interview? He did an interview where he's like I mean, he's upset about his divorce. I guess I really like, like him. He left Jennifer Garner to get extra pussy. Oh. And then he's like he's like, I blew it. And he I'm, feels like he blew it. Yeah. He was like, I want to get some extra Why pussy. Why won't you let let him back? I don't know. But She's got to let him back, bro. Yeah, he's miserable about the divorce. I like all the pictures of him in public smoking cigarettes looking terrible. Yeah. That's why I like him a lot. I'm definitely going to go see that new movie with him opening weekend. The most annoying part of the interview was like the journalist who interviews him calls him out for lying to the press about why he had a bad, like he said he had a he's this sh- big shitty tattoo on his back. Yeah, the Japanese he tattoo. He said it was fake for a movie. And the guy was like, yeah, but you got to kind of own the fact that you were deceptive about that. And it's like, fuck Deceptive? You. Or it says something like that. And it's Who like, cares? There's nothing. It's so funny when, like, journalists get mad about, like, plagiarism. Because it's like, yeah. that there's things that affect them personally. Right. That they treat, you know, they're like, the press, you know, because the pre- they get to determine yeah. what people are mad about. Yeah. Collectively. Right. But then they have their own issues that affect them. That they treat with the same severity. And it's like, you, most people don't care about plagiarism. Yeah, most people don't care about... Ben Affleck lying about having a tattoo exactly. on his back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, they say they called him deceptive. They said so, the the way I read he's it, being duplicitous. I, I I will have to pull it up again. Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. Mm-hmm. Look it up. Interview. I like him because I think I used Marin, to. Marin screen cap part of the interview, and he's like, "This is so fucking true." <laughs> Mark Marin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I forget about him all the time, dude. Yeah. 
Warning, this is not one of those celebrity profiles that uses a teaspoon of new information to flavor a barrel of ancient history. There is no paragraph with a star and the writer pretend mm-hmm. to be pals. Gag. <laughs> While doing every day. What is this? This is a badass interview about Ben. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this whole thing was fucking lame. Oh, God. Yeah. Where this Where was the interview? Uh, New York Times. Oh, word. Yeah. Uh, what is this? What is what am I reading here? Okay, sure, Wait, so just yeah, we'll just let you read it. No, you just say whatever. No, I always liked him because uh, I used to watch the Kevin Smith uh, DVD commentary tracks for the Kevin Smith movies when I was in high school. And I always thought he was very charming and funny yeah. off the cuff. Affleck cited this sober A-listers, Bradley Cooper and Robert Downey Jr. as guys who have been very supportive and to whom I feel a great sense of gratitude. Affleck continued, one of the things about recovery that I think people sometimes overlook is the fact that it inculcates certain values. Be honest, be accountable, help other people, apologize when you're wrong. Honesty. Hmm. Let's talk about honesty. <laughs> God damn. Shouldn't he have been honest from the start about the damn back tattoo rather than telling extra it was a fake for a movie? It's like, shut up, you fucking bitch. What a fucking loser. <laughs> okay. You lied to extra. How dare you lie to extra? I resented that somebody got a picture of it by spying on me, Affleck said. Shifting on the sofa where he was sitting, it felt invasive. But you're right. I guess I could have said that's none of your business. Dude, I really if Trump is just like, I'm going to kill the journalists, I'll vote for him. Yeah. They really need to go. They suck. Some guy who thinks that it's his job mm-hmm. to be like, Ben Affleck, you're a fucking hypocrite. Yeah, honesty. Hmm. hmm. Let's talk about that hmm. first. Okay. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. <laughs> what a fucking nerd-ass <laughs> bitch. Uh... Shouldn't you have? Shouldn't you have been honest to extra? <laughs> to the show extra. Yeah, just Michael Douglas. You're, you're lying to entertainment tonight. You're, you're a liar. <laughs> you lied to extra and <laughs> to access Hollywood. And now it's time to have gay sex. <laughs> Did you see gay ma- uh, actor Michael Douglas came out for uh, gay mayor Michael Bloomberg? Did he? Yeah, the gay Michaels need to yeah. stick together. Michael Bloomberg and I have been having sex. (laughs) (laughs) Hello, I'm actor Michael Douglas. I just want to let you know that Michael Bloomberg and I have been having sex. (laughs) Michael Bloomberg is a mayor that represents values I appreciate, like getting fucked in my ass and having them come on my face. (laughs) If there's one thing I love most about Michael Bloomberg, it's the way he chokes me with his cock. When he makes love to my face, I feel that we have a chance for an America where everybody gets a head start on the way into the bedroom. Where we have a secret forbidden tryst between two gay millionaires who are now in the closet. <laughs> I can't hear him say, hi, I'm Michael Douglas, without hearing you say, I'm gay actor. I'm gay actor, Michael Douglas. <laughs> <laughs> the video of him endorsing Bloomberg is like, it's just it's just ruined for me. I because, haven't seen it. Oh, oh, let me find it. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, hi, I'm Michael Douglas. Hi, I'm gay actor Michael Douglas. You may remember me from films such as Falling Down. Who's the guy you confuse him with? Martin Sheen. You may remember me from Apocalypse Now. What are other Martin Sheen movies? Hi, I'm Michael the, Douglas. The West Wing TV famously show. Famously played the President of the United States on the television show The West Wing. <laughs> as, uh, as former President Josiah Bartlett, Hi, I'm Michael Douglas, the actor who played Josiah Bartlett on the show <laughs> The West Wing. Not only am I gay, but I have experience being a gay president. <laughs> Wait, this is, this, is, this is even better, dude. He says that Kirk Douglas's last words... To his son, <laughs> where that uh, that he was uh, was that he endorsed Bloomberg. Mm. Can you imagine your dad's last words? Yeah. He was like, 
as my father's life slipped out of my hands and I pulled my penis out of his ass, his last words to me were, please endorse Michael Bloomberg, your gay lover. Please sexually endorse Michael Bloomberg by making love to him. It's just... <laughs> what I love about Michael is I really have to work to bite his lips <laughs> when we're having weird bitey sex. <laughs> he loves bitey sex. I, as a, <laughs> I'm Michael Douglas, and there's one thing I love. It's weird bitey sex with my lipless boyfriend, Michael Bloomberg. <laughs> he does have no lips. Dude, I was saying he looks, he looks like, like McConnell, like, he, like a eternal life. He looks like a, the female... Version the feet like so Mitch McConnell and Michael Bloomberg are part of an alien race. Yeah, yeah, they're Michael, lizard people. And Michael Bloomberg is the the sexually receptive gender. Right. So he's the one that takes the cum and shits. Out <laughs> it's X-Men. not. It's not so simple as a yeah. M F divide. It's but there not. is like a receptive and a, a right. You know, passive yeah. and a the, instead of a penis, Mitch McConnell has a bar <laughs> that penetrates Michael Bloomberg's exactly. abdomens. Yeah, and deposits eggs into a sack and. <laughs> And then the the eggs fester and eventually explode out of Michael Bloomberg's chest. Yeah, it's disgusting. To right? the dismay of his earthbound gay lover, Michael Douglas. <laughs> what initially made me fall in love with Michael Bloomberg is that I could fuck the woo, the festering wound left by Mitch McConnell's barbed penis. <laughs> I'm like, what is this? A political this is ad? the endorsement. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gay. When I make when I when I make love to my alien, my female alien, but gay boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I gotta. I just want to find the video of him being like, "Hi, I'm Michael Douglas." <laughs> oh God. I can't find it. Oh, whatever. But yeah. Uh, so yeah, he fucks that wound mm-hmm. left by Mitch McConnell piercing his abdomen to lay eggs. I guess that is kind of how the elites do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Michael Bloomberg, Michael Douglas. Did you already find it? I can't find it. Dutch, we gotta find this video. Yeah, Michael Douglas. <laughs> but it, I just can't hear his voice anymore. Without hearing you doing that bit. So, do you get this ad, this, like, targeted ad for Jerusalem Estates? No, what is that? This fucking, like, Israeli piece of shit company. They have, like, this fucking, like, Jerusalem Estates apartment complex. But they've done something with the fucking code so that when you're scrolling through an article, it'll stop scrolling at the ad. And you, if you click, if you try to scroll, you'll click on the ad. I've clicked on this ad accidentally like 15 fucking times. Really? And it's, f- it's, I've, I had to block the website on my fucking, uh, on my phone because I'm so annoyed with fucking accidentally. What is it? A part like a timeshare in Jerusalem? Yeah. But if you like scroll, look, see, it'll like stop scrolling. See how I can't scroll? Oh, that's ridiculous. Yeah. That, which what is, is that? Some sort of Mossad trick? Probably, dude. And it probably violates fucking Google AdSense's rules. If you know, if any of you know how to tattle on, I'm anti tattling unless it's on Israel. Oh, yeah. Tattle away. Yeah. I can't find this Michael Bloomberg thing. Whatever. It's very funny. Um, A president America needs. And Bloomberg had approved and record. He has done more as a private citizen and as a mayor than most any con- than most any congressman, or senator, or elected official. This is a great, great guy. This is a rare, rare moment, and I haven't felt like this since John Kennedy. Added Douglas, who had an affair with John Kennedy in the nineteen sixties. <laughs> here it is. Here it is. I'm Michael Douglas. I've played a president in a movie, but this is the real world. Mike Bloomberg has what it takes to win, to unite the country, to move past the endless fightings in order to get things done. Mike has built a business, run a city, taken on big challenges like gun safety and climate change. Mike's a doer, a uniter, a steady leader, President American needs. When Mike Bloomberg <laughs> curls himself up in a tiny ball and I take his entire body into my gaping asshole in a process called vor, 
I think often about <laughs> how we met at Furcon in 2014. And <laughs> <laughs> um, it, Mr. Douglas? <laughs> that rainy night in February when I met Michael Bloomberg. Yeah, when I was having sex with John F. Kennedy. <laughs> 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 it reminds me most of I thought I'd never love a man <laughs> The way I love Mr. Kennedy <laughs> But Mike Bloomberg Has done more for me Than any dildo, sibian, or vibrator Ever could <laughs> Mike Bloomberg Has blown my ass out in ways <laughs> That I Never thought were possible Now he's going to blow out Donald Trump And come all over My face <laughs> <clears throat> well, that's the show, guys. Is that the show? That is the show. All right, man. All we right. did it. Uh, we have Funny Moms tomorrow night. Uh, Stav's I'm back. Funny Moms. I'll be having sex with every comedian that performs. Our friend Stav's back on Wednesday. Everyone uh, have a have a nice uh, rest of your day. And that's it, I guess. That's it, I guess. That's it, I guess. <laughs>